what Max Krelich has said will resonate with fans around the game. Let me <laughs> read it out. Cameron comes in as the third tackler and is then the last man up. Tick. He, he slows it up to perfection. He's the master. He's Tick. third man in, rolling all over the ball. This has gone on for, for many years. Tick. Melbourne lay all over the ball and the players, but it's real play on because it's Cameron. Tick. Tick. What he does isn't in the spirit of the game. It's not right, and he's getting away with it. Cross. The referee... You don't believe so? Not in the spirit of the game. It's a competitive The whole advantage. game... Well, OK. Yeah, the going. referees are scared to penalise him. Tick. And it seems everything he does is squeaky clean. Tick. We need the referees to toughen up. Mm, maybe on. not this week. I have no doubt the referees are intimidated by him. They are scared of him, and it's a disgrace. This is an old tactic. That's been I will say out this, of the ben, closet this has been... Has you won. can say it's an old tactic, but as Kenny said, mate, do you watch the football? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We all see it happen. You tick like, you tick them. the ball. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can say... But well, what's well, illegal? My, look, the rules are the rules and the rules permit it. Yeah. So fool well, us. Well, the rules don't The rules don't permit it. It's the discretion that's applied to the rule. Paul... And, and, and the argument... The argument is... No, the argument is not... The rules are permitted. The argument is, is there is discretion to how long you can lay on a player and keep him down. But this is and what the it's argument, about. The this is what it's about. Yeah, but the <clears throat> argument is that Cameron Smith is allowed to get away the ball than other players in the game. You're making it technical, and I think it's more about that this. Of course it's about this. Nights at Brookvale. <laughs> the Battle of Brookvale. Yeah. I tell you what, it was good to see two blokes who got together who could actually throw them too. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like sometimes you see there's two at, blokes. Well, is that a crack at Billy Moore and David Barnhill? Yeah, well, you know, what I mean? like Billy punched himself in the back of the leg. <laughs> like that's how bad he was going. He was, his aim was off. So very strong words though by Max Krilich. They and uh, Melbourne Storm can be sensitive about this particular topic. So and I'm just they'll so. say that at this time of the year, this story gets produced. So, so here's yep. the thing. Every it, year, here's the double-edged sword, right? Is this may what heighten the referees to Cameron Smith's tactics, heighten their awareness, I should say, or it's just going to get Melbourne fired up. And in I, the I don't Both. think it will heighten the awareness of the referees because the referees aren't fools. They see it happen every week. Like, you'll, you'll go to a game. I went down I to the Dragons. I disagree. I think they get fooled every a, week. A few weeks ago, I went down to the Dragons. I think it was the Thursday night game in Wollongong in the wet. Like, you would think the home team's going to get the roll of the penalties. They were down 7-1 at one point in the first half. And Melbourne, and you're looking there, and they, they get away with seven, eight, nine, ten-second tackles. Yeah. And, and the Dragons will get penalised a couple of times yeah. for offside, and you're thinking, well, it's because the where's storm, the fairness? The, the Storm do it centimetre perfect, right? 100%. It is they practiced, just do it better it's than everybody else. And do it. It, it gives them a competitive advantage on the rest yeah. of the field.